All right, software testing. That is topic number four from software engineering body of knowledge. So software testing is dynamic verification uh, of uh, a program providing expected behaviors on a finite set of test cases selected reasonably from the uh, mostly infinite domain of uh, possible inputs. And the goal of software testing, as we know, uh, as opposed to software verification or validation, is to uh, find bugs, to find problems, as opposed to uh, prove that something is correct. So there are different aspects to software testing. The first one is fundamentals. Uh, terminology is basically what, uh, what do we call uh, an error, what do we call a fault, what is a failure, what is a defect, is, is there a difference between these things, how do we agree to, uh, to report on uh, particular findings, do we immediately claim that it is, an, uh, uh, it is a defect or do we, uh, do we use so, some, some other ways to, to, to say it. Uh, the key issues, these are things like uh, selection of tests, uh, adequacy of tests, effectiveness uh, of them, uh, uh, discovery again of, of uh, defects uh, and you know things like uh, the oracle in, in testing there is always something that says okay whether the test um, ultimately failed or succeeded and that's, that's the oracle and uh, the, these things and many others, they also limit testing. So, and the limitations of uh, uh, testing and testing approaches, this is also one of the key issues uh, here. And the relationships, they mean a relationship between testing and other things in uh, software engineering. Something like uh, proofs. If you have already a proof that, uh, uh, that the system behaves correctly, then do you need to test it? Uh, or, I don't know, what, what's the relation between testing and debugging, things like this. All right, so testing can be done on different levels, and levels can be classified by targets or by objectives. So if we take targets, there could be unit testing, and that's, uh, you know, you separate uh, one particular unit in a software system, and then you test that, and if, if it needs to interact, then you mock the rest. Or you do integration testing, so you do not test uh, units, but you test how units work together to, to complete some tasks. Or you do system testing, and then you integrate all the components together and you look how, how entire uh, traces of uh, uh, you know, your user stories, how they uh, play out. Uh, so, uh, testing levels in with respect to objectives, there are many more uh, variations. So, acceptance testing, we've uh, seen that in uh, requirements. Installation testing, that's uh, uh, testing basically with deployment. So, you go somewhere, you install it, and you see how it works on somebody else's machine. Uh, alpha, beta testing, so alpha in a, in a small group, beta in a, in a uh, uh, bigger group of uh, volunteers. Uh, reliability testing, uh, when, you, when you see how, how uh, something responds to um, uh, long use or uh, use in a strange circumstances and stuff like this. Regression testing, when you change something you just rerun old tests in order to see that you didn't break anything. Performance testing, when you uh, check how, how fast uh, certain things uh, go. Security, so it's, it's uh, um, tolerance to some uh, uh, attacks on your, uh, on your system. Uh, stress testing, when you uh, 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 take one aspect and take it to some extreme uh, uh, heights. Uh, uh, you make the input extremely long or you, uh, you execute something over 9,000 times instead of doing it uh, once and so forth. Uh, differential testing, also called back-to-back -back testing, when you uh, have several systems that should do the same and then you kind of try to uh, uh, see if you can come up with a test case where the two disagree. Uh, recovery testing. Uh, uh, how uh, how do system how does your system respond to uh, uh, some catastrophic uh, uh, um, uh, situations? Interface testing. So how how does it interact with with others? Configuration. So usually you do have some kind of configuration, and uh, you know you need to test that 
all variations of uh, configurations result in a in a working system and a, in a system that works uh, correctly and you know human computer interaction testing as well uh, then you have some uh, techniques for uh, for testing so they can be based on intuition and experience and they can be ad hoc but they can also be you know exploratory uh, testing when you um, when you go through all the menus and while you're doing this you learn what you're doing and then you immediately incorporate your newly acquired uh, expertise into uh, uh, testing that's how professional testers uh, work uh, then uh, there can be test techniques based on the input domain uh, it's something like uh, you know equal partitioning of uh, uh, of the input domain or the exact opposite of that, uh, going only for boundary uh, values, or doing random testing, or doing I don't know, pairwise uh, testing, stuff like this. You can also base uh, techniques on code, and uh, then we're talking about control flow, data flow, some kind of reference models. You can test it based on false, so you can guess some errors that, uh, that are there, or you can do mutation testing. Mutation testing is when you change the uh, your source code in some places, uh, like randomly or semi-randomly, and basically your uh, test cases should uh, they call they call it killing the mutants. They should kill the mutants. So if you if you have a system and you have a test case that uh, succeeds. The assumption is if you change, if you play with the uh, system, then uh, the test cases should, some of them should fail and should expose that you have done something bad to, to the system. If they don't, it says something about the quality of your uh, test set. Uh, then it could be based on, on usage. So uh, it's, uh, you know, user observation and making some profiles of uh, uh, how, how users should operate and then uh, gathering statistics on this and if uh, if your system doesn't uh, uh, statistically behave like you expect it to be then something should be wrong. Uh, Model-based techniques, uh, decision tables, I don't know, formal specifications, finite state machines, uh, there's quite a lot of things uh, uh, possible there. Uh, techniques based on the nature of the application. I mean, if you know that your application is a real-time system, uh, then you should uh, test particular properties. If you know that it's uh, component-based, then you can uh, test components separately. If you know that it's uh, object-oriented or uh, web-based or whatever, you can you can make use of these known properties in uh, in the testing as well. And of course, it can be uh, quite some sophisticated combination of this. And the remaining considerations are measures, so test-related measures. They are mostly uh, about the quality or the evaluation of the system uh, itself, and that's uh, stuff like fault density, uh, for example. Uh, but they can only also be about evaluating your test suite. Uh, and that's uh, uh, you know coverage of uh, um, of particular uh, things in your uh, in your test uh, suites. Do you have enough test cases to cover all the uh, paths? Do you call all the methods that you have in your uh, in your system in uh, or some test cases and so forth? Uh, then testing process. So con uh, uh, practical considerations. They are about you know. Um, uh, do you document testing? Do you do you do testing internally, or do you hire uh, uh, independent people to to do this? How do you ma manage uh, the the testing process and so forth? And activities. This is just uh, you know not just testing, but also um, stuff like test case generation, uh, for example, and uh, reporting and tracking of uh, uh, certain things. And of course, there are tools that uh, that do this, and you know there are different categories of tools that uh, 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 that generate tests for you, that track uh, uh, things, that measure uh, the quality of uh, uh, some stuff, and you know, quite a lot of uh, tool support. And that's it about testing. <laughs>